Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the brand new Fenty Icon Semi Matte Lipsticks. So if you want the tea and to see the shades that I've picked up, then go ahead and keep on watching. If you take a look down below and it doesn't look like you're subscribed to me, then go ahead and rectify that situation right now and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I'm a Fenty stan, however, these lipsticks I have... I already have mixed thoughts about them, okay? So those of you who are unfamiliar, this is a refillable lipstick. I am going to take a look at everything in just a second. I did pick up a case and three shades, but I do want to give you guys a little bit of the tea on the product first. So like I said, it's a refillable lipstick, which means it comes in two components and these are sold separately. So I paid £10 for the case and then £18 per shade of lipstick. And I think I saw somewhere that that works out to be $32 for a case and, a, and one lipstick. I'm also going to show you how to use the cases because I have seen a few people ruin their lipsticks by inserting it wrong and stuff like that. But you see me, me I'm a pro. Me I'm a pro. It's meant to have a creamy formula which hugs the lips with a smooth plush texture and long lasting iconic wear. So we already have claims. The claims are claiming. There are 10 shades. Like I said, I did pick three of the 10. I did actually get the chance to see every single shade in person. And I'm not gonna lie, there were more that I could have picked up based on my taste. It's just I ended up thinking to myself, some of these shades I've already got in the Huda Beauty bullet. Guys, I'm broke. So <laughs> I couldn't really be afforded to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds on lipstick. So that's why I went for the three shades and I tried to switch it up a little bit with them so that we had, you know, a decent amount of different shades to have a look at. So yeah, so they're packed with moisture, plumping, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and E. So yeah. So this is what the packaging for the case looks like. And then you have the individual lipsticks in these smaller boxes here. So this whole component here cost me £10, but yeah. It's like a, it's just off silver, so it's got a tinge of rose gold to it. And it just says Fenty on the side there. And then this little mechanism here at the bottom, it kind of twists and releases. And that's basically how you're going to get the lipstick out. And then in the cap is the base for the lipsticks. And this just slides out like that. So this is part one of the lipstick. Okay. And then we've got the actual lip shades themselves. I'm going to go from light to dark, I think, in terms of the shades. Now I'm wondering, did I get the shades that I wanted to get? Oh my god, I picked up the wrong shade. The shade that I wanted to get was Grill Master. That's a shade that I was really intrigued about. And I picked up Board Member by accident. How did I end up doing that? No, I'm really upset. You know what, I'm not gonna return it. I'll just give that one to my mum. Oh, I'm really down now. So Grill Master is meant to be like a... This was one of the most interesting shades for me. It's like a maple red, it says on the website. So it had this like orangey, browny, bricky tone to it. And, oh, I just really wanted to try it. Anyway, you know what? This is not about me. You know what? No, it is about me. I'm going to leave board member. And I'm not going to swatch it. I'll just swatch the other two shades that I've got. Because this one I'm going to return and exchange it for the shade that I did want which is Grill Master. So the first one we're going to look at is Ballin' Babe. And Ballin' Babe, if you know me, it's sort of like a classic me type shade. It's a mauve nude. So when you pop them out of the box, this is what their little components look like. So they've got like replaceable caps. So you don't necessarily need to have the, um, the case because they've got lids and stuff. I just suppose if you're going for the aesthetic, then you're going to want this. So you slide the cap. Okay, no, I don't slide the cap off. Yeah. <laughs> before I come and give you false information. I don't slide the cap off to avoid damaging the lipstick. So what I do is I slide this out. And then what you wanna do is you get this, this is the lipstick, and it clicks into the base like that. And then you remove the cap. 
and here's the lipstick so this is ballin babe and what it looks like so the shape here it's basically made to match rihanna's cupid bow i mean i don't have it like her but i appreciate the attention to detail and then there should be an fb engraved on the lipstick barrel somewhere So yeah, this is my first shade. And what you want to do is you want to wind it all the way down. That's a mistake that I've seen people make. And then this goes in here like that. And you're going to click it. So this is what it looks like when it's done. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. This is what it looks like. And then the twisty part that I showed you guys at the beginning, it just pops out the lipstick like this. And then this just comes out. And as you guys can see, my lipstick is intact and undamaged. This is gonna be Ballin' Babe Swatched. I'm picking up a scent. Okay, listen, listen. This smells like the Fenty lip gloss. See now, if they can make a lipstick that smells like the Fenty Gloss, why couldn't the Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams also smell? Do you know what? This is not the video for that kind of... But I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Someone was at the door and I'm not going to lie to you guys. I found the receipt for my lipstick and I'm actually contemplating going back to the store to get the shade that I wanted. So... Bye. I hope you all took me seriously because board member is literally no longer in the room. I exchanged her for Grill Master. I'd, I weren't playing because I wanted Grill Master. So yeah, I just went, did a quick little exchange and now I'm back. So if anything's looking a bit shifted, it's because I've been out for about an hour. But I'm back now and I don't even know where we left off. I think we were looking at our first shade which was Ballin' Babe. And I'm gonna do no lip liner first, and then we'll just see how things progress. If I feel like there's a need for a lip liner, then, you know, we're gonna go ahead and add one. Here goes. I'm still obsessed with that scent. I, I really hope it's not super dry. This is, yeah. Now that I have this shade on, it does actually remind me of one of my Huda lipsticks as well, which is what I was trying to avoid with the shades, but I couldn't really resist this one because it's just me to a T. But I think if I'm doing a full face like I've got now, I think it's probably better with a lip liner. The formula of this, okay, so I had seen one video where the person said that they could feel sort of the product settling into the cracks in their lips it was that dry i'm not getting that like i'm not getting that at all for me it's very smooth it's not it's not like glossy smooth obviously because it's not that but imagine like a liquid lipstick but if you put a little bit of oil in it because once you put oil in a liquid lipstick like it's never gonna dry that's what this is giving so yeah soft matte that kind of vibe. I'm using one of my favourite brown lip liners and this is from the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 and this is Rich Brown. I think this is going to end up being my favourite one. I just think it's the perfect, perfect tone for me. I love, love, love shades like this. I just, you know, I love it. Super pretty. You can just... That's how it comes off. You pull it off. Okay, so the next shade we're going to do is the one that has caused the most drama today. So it's going to be a real shame if I don't like her, but we are going into Grill Master. So Grill Master is a maple red. And this is what she looks like. I got myself so excited that I almost forgot to do the hand swatch. So that is Grill Master. The most popular ones in store were Ballin' Babe and the MVP. Those ones were completely gone, sold out. <laughs> So if you are thinking of getting those two, probably grab them now because I think those are the ones that people want the most. I feel like it's a bit more red than I would have wanted, I think. 
now that I've put it on. I would have wanted a bit more of an orangey to it, but I think with the liner, this is probably going to deliver the look that I'm going for because it's not a super bright red, like in your face, true red or like a blue red or anything like that. It's more like got an orangey hue to it. Okay, so here she is with the brown liner and yeah because it's so red it's not quite giving me the look that I would have wanted this is still a cute look but I would have wanted a bit more of an orange to this lipstick just a, a, a smidge not so much that it's an orange shade but more so a bricky type shade I still think that Ballin Babe is my shade like it's my perfect shade but yeah, so this is the MVP and I'm really hoping that it's very different to Grill Master because if it's not, then I'm going to be upset. Okay. Yeah, it's a totally different shade. So this one is a blue-red and Rihanna claims it's a red for everyone. Like it suits every single skin tone. And we're going to see because there are some red tones that I just don't like. So here is... All three of them swatched and yeah I think they're different enough for me to be content with this in any case my mom does still all of my red lipsticks anyway so this one's probably gonna end up in her bag somewhere so I didn't mention before but the names are sort of on stickers on the barrel sides here so you can see what shade you have on but yeah this is our final shade which I don't think is gonna need a lip liner in fact, I know it's not going to need one. Okay, that's pretty. I will say this shade in particular feels a little drier than the other two. Not so dry that it settles into any cracks or anything, but it's drier than the other two. I think a lot of people will be picking up this shade. I'm definitely not surprised that this is one of the shades that has sold out in my local stores. But I'm just pleased that I like every single shade that I picked up. I think on me, just looking at the shades, I think Ball and Babe and this shade are the two that suit me the most. If you disagree, I mean, of course, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you all think anyway. Overall, I do think these are very, very decent lipsticks. I am a huge, huge fan of the scent of these. I think it does sort of set them apart from my other lipsticks just because of that factor. If you are someone who knows me well, then scents and products and lip things especially when it comes to venti can definitely grind my gears a little bit so i am pleased with this and the formula as well is not drying for me personally my lips can easily move see and i don't have any issues with this i mean it's not a full matte so it is going to transfer Okay, so definitely don't buy it if you are looking for something a bit more permanent on the lip that's not going to shift around and stuff like that. I am going to keep this particular shade on for a little bit while I edit and upload this video and stuff. And I'm going to eat and see what happens to the lipstick. And I'll update the comment section down below. But yeah, I don't know about this one. If it wasn't for this situation here, I think this sort of takes away from the overall lipstick experience, I guess. I mean, I understand the concept behind this, but I think a lot of people will be focusing more on having to pay for a case for their lipstick than they will be on the actual lipsticks themselves. And I've seen it in person, people being deterred by the fact that it's in two bits. Um, so yeah, that's something, but I get it and I don't mind. Once you buy the case once, I don't think there's a need to have a case for every single lipstick that you've got because it's just impractical and these ones like I said all come with a case anyway so you, if you are traveling or for whatever reason you want to carry more than one of these carry them like this and then if you're going out and you've already put on the color that's the one that you take with you that's where I stand if there is anything that I've left out Leave a comment in the comment section down below. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to your girls, support the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.